Hello and welcome back. My name is Mandy, I'm with Jimra, and today it's a total body equipment free workout, no impact, and we are gonna go slow. This is all about working to our best range of motion, and it's equipment free. I'm not even wearing shoes. Are you ready to get started with me? The answer is always yes. I love to have you with me. We're starting with a little warm up. Again, this is about moving slow. So we're gonna work from our feet all the way up. Take a look at your feet. Make sure that they're nice and spread out. So take a look at your toes, really wiggle those toes around and root into the ground that you're working out on today. From there, start to charge up the legs, start to soften the knees, draw the belly in and take the arms to the sides. Draw the shoulders back and down and exalt the heart energy forward. Take a moment and drop the chin down towards the chest. And again, take those shoulders back and down. Inhale your arms up and over your head. And then exhale the elbows out to the sides of the room. Let's do it two more times. Nice soft bend in the knees. Inhale the arms up and exhale the elbows out. Last time, finding full range of motion for your body, reaching up and opening out. Good, from here, I'm gonna lift off my heels and then lift off my toes. So I'm really accentuating this footwork at the top of our warm up, so that we can start to really build the foundation that we'll need in this completely standing workout. So last one off those heels and last one off the toes. And then we're gonna open up the inside of the feet and the outside of the feet. So just kind of rolling in, rolling out. And you could always hold a wall for extra stability and spread your feet out even more, your feet being a little wider than your hips. Excellent. Now from here, I'm gonna pick up a knee and switch. And if you can, try to move as slowly as possible as we start to open the hips out. You'll notice me counting the tempo today because I wanna be honest with myself, along with you, about that tempo specificity that I have planned in mind. So last hip opener on the one side and finish it on the other. Beautiful. Go ahead and step into a lunged position. Back heel off the ground, front heel on the floor. Slide the hips forward and then slide the hips back. So I'm finding balance mainly on that front foot. Nice lunge position and then exhale the arms back. One more time here, bending into that back knee, little spring, and then lifting and extending. Switch your feet. So I'll show this to you other side so you just can see different angles of my body. I'm not on a tight rope. I'm off the back heel. I'm gonna shift my weight forward and then shift it back and slide the arms back. We have plenty of time together today. So I think the biggest challenge I'll say for myself is feeling like I'm not doing it well. So maybe the theme today for us can be about having some compassion for our, for our bodies. Bring our feet nice and wide apart. Start to reach one arm up and over as the other arm reaches to the side and switch. Just warming up the sidelines of the body here for another minute or so. You'll notice the time will fly by. Spread your toes out, dig into those heels. Last time, other side. We're gonna find a full roll down, so bring your feet together. Have your heels together, have your toes slightly separated in a first position. Take the arms up and over the head. Dive forward, round your spine. Let your head hang as you're in the forward fold. Soften the knees, take an inhale here and exhale to roll your way back up to stand. Good, now from here, I'm gonna do one more lifting up off the heels, just finding that last bit of balance. Let the heels come down to the floor and fold your way forward. Got hair on my pants here. Slowly roll yourself up and we're gonna get started in the actual work. So we should feel plenty warm. We're starting with a front step with our right foot. We'll take it forward and reach. Really dig in, hold for three, 
two and one. And then we'll take the back step and curl in. Hamstring stretch, two and one. Good, do it again. I take my foot forward. I drive into the heels of both of my feet. Shine that hard energy up. And then I slide that foot back and I curl into the hamstring stretch. My back has a little roundness as I curl. And then as I send my foot forward, I'm feeling a nice stretch through this extension of my spine. We're finishing here. Excellent. Remember the leg we did, so I will make sure to tell you that. Don't worry. Now I'm going to move into a lateral lunge so my feet are nice and wide apart. I'm going to drive into one side, big stretch, return. So we take four seconds, three, two, and one, and then rise. Four, three, two, and one. So notice how I'm bending into one knee as the other leg straightens. My arms are out to the sides. Big stretch. This workout is great if you're feeling sore and you just need something to get that blood pumping in your body. And this workout's also great if you're working on your flexibility. So if you're looking for something like this, look no further. That's your last one. Good, from here I'm gonna go to the other side. So I'm gonna step it forward, reach it up. Whoa! And then I'm gonna step it back and curl it in. Good, so I'm finding spinal extension here on the reach. Open up the chest, back heel driving into the floor. Send your hips forward, step it back, step it forward and do your hamstring curl. So I'm feeling that stretch to the whole back side of the leg now. Reach it up. So here's the deal. We're moving slow right now. That's the time, right? Now I want you to find a sumo squat. Turn your toes out, drop into your legs. Lift the heel of the right. Slow and slight rise. So I'm not gonna come all the way up to stand. Slow and slight lift. So I'm starting to shake a little bit in the thighs. That's just personal. <laughs> Switch those heels so we get even amounts of time. It's four, three, two, and one, and slow rise. Whew. Good, we've got time to do it again. Now the good news about these movements is we're gonna get an opportunity to do them again, but they're gonna be a little faster. Excellent, awesome. So shake things out, we're going right back to the top. It's very short break, so stepping the foot forward, Reaching up, timer starts right here. I reach, reach, reach. And notice this time I'm gonna move a little quicker. So in the first round, it's about learning the move. Cause it's like, almost like you're kind of doing something in water, right? Like we mentioned in the warm up. But really, we're working on getting that blood flowing through all the muscles that are feeling tight, sore, etc. Good, take your step forward. Take that step back and fold over that straight leg. If you're not super flexible, right? Not everybody's super flexible. Maybe I bring my hands to my thigh as I curl my toe, right? There's ways to make this doable for all bodies. Good, step your feet wide apart. I go into that deep lateral lunge and this time maybe I wrap and I return. And what I mean by that wrap is my arm might wrap around my calf and I return to rise. Squeeze your seat at the top. Inhale. Try to get your shoulders perpendicular to the ground as I find this rotational. Maybe I take a little shoulder roll for a little help there. Reach and wrap, rise and roll. Good. We've got lots of time here. So digging in, notice we're moving a little faster so you can really get the repetitions in, feel that blood flowing through the hips, through the hamstrings and through the shoulders. Beautiful, switching the feet now. I'm gonna step my foot forward, big step to reach. And then I step that foot back and I curl my toes towards my face. Working on getting more limber with the support of the feet, spread your toes out. 
Notice if you're rolling your toes in, curling in, or rolling to the outer edges of the feet. I know we all have dominance somewhere. So just today about kind of digging into that. Maybe taking the less traveled path with how you use your feet usually. Excellent. Last one here, giving that hamstring curl. Nice rounded back, feeling that stretch through the low back. And then find yourself in that heel pop. This time I'm gonna bring it into the left side first. Arms perhaps reaching up and we'll rise all the way. Beautiful. Can you sink your hips without letting your booty bop back? So really wanna tuck that seat. Switch your feet, please. Heel off the foot, off the ground. Lift and return. Good. Really driving low. Are you breathing? We got just a few more seconds. Deep squat. Excellent job. If you need a quick sip of water, now is a great time to grab it, shake things out, take care of yourself. We're moving into our next block of mobility. The first round is almost, I wanna say, like uncomfortably slow. And then the second round, we pick it up and we really get into the meat of the groups. So we're gonna start this next round. I would face forward for the beginning, but you may wanna face a little to the side so you can turn your head and you don't have to focus on like the balance aspect. So pick a focal point that isn't moving and away we go. So first thing first, I'm gonna to start to bend my knee and catch it with my hand, shift my weight forward and kick back. In yoga, they call this dancer pose. So if you know about that, awesome. If you don't, now you do. Rise your way up, cross the ankle over the thigh and sit into this figure four and reach the arms forward. We're spending four seconds in each thing. So four, three, two, and one. And then returning on that transition, three, two, and one. This is all about that ankle mobility, foot stability. So don't get discouraged, just do your best work. Use the wall if you need it. Nice little thigh stretch. And then this figure four squats, all about stretching that piriformis or glute. Excellent job. Okay, so now we're gonna move to that second side. Pour weight into the left foot. I'm gonna lift off that foot of the right, catch it. Pick that steady focal point, kick back. You're using the energy of the foot to push into the hand. And then we make that slow transition Four seconds long, right? This is tempo based. Two and one. I feel that deep stretch right in the gluteal. Sorry, I'm not looking at you that much, but I have to keep my focal point, otherwise I'll be bouncing all over this mat. You know what I mean? So bring it down. So we've done both legs here. We're gonna move into a curtsy. I love a curtsy because it's a great stretch. So step your feet to the center of your mat. Take one foot behind you. Take the arm, wrap it, and reach all the way over the side. Two and one, we switch our sides. Balance, curtsy, three, two, one, and return. The less reps we do in this time allotment is the goal. So maybe I only get, I don't know, two or three per side, four, three, because we'll do this again, and we'll have an opportunity to speed it up a little bit, but it's not cardio focused. Yes, my heart is pumping, but I'm not working the cardio element necessarily. Okay, here we go. It's a fly. I'm gonna bring my feet together, hinge. Showing this to you at a little bit of an angle again, my feet are together. I'm gonna fly my arms out, reach my arms over my head pull my elbows back and squeeze the seat to rise. Option for a calf raise if you want. Inhale, hinge forward, fly the arms out. My palms face down, I reach my arms overhead. So if you are working on your shoulder mobility, pull the elbows back. This is a great one. You don't have to get as deeply as this. Feel free to slow it down, make it less. Open reach we're finishing here i pull and i return 
So those movements we'll do just one more time and there isn't really much of a break. So we're gonna go right into that first side first. Stamp down through the right foot. A Little bit quicker now. Dancer pose, kick it back. Return, find the single leg balance. Sit into that figure four squat position. Rise up, catch it, kick it back. Can you get deeper now that we've done it once, right? Technically twice, but just once on this side. Maybe your balance is getting a little bit better. You're working on that foot stability, ankle mobility. Kick it back. We'll go right to the second side here. And if speeding it up is like, whoa, no, go slow. Not committed to staying this quick. Switch your sides. So balancing now on that second leg, I'm gonna grab the foot that I was just balancing on. Nice little break there, right? Square those hips, pull the navel in. Feel that glute work. Cross it and sit into that figure four. We're doing this. I like this combo. Always feels good in my hips. Plus I feel kind of like a superhero because it's tough. It's tough work. Sinking into those hips. Land the foot if you need to. So I'm noticing as I'm trying, <laughs> keyword here trying to move quicker it's not working for me so I'm back to slow and there's no problem with that beautiful we're gonna go into that curtsy lunge alternating sides so step to the center of your mat feet together I go across and I reach up and back so in this second round I still find those end ranges but I'm moving at a pace that feels a little bit more quick Lean into it. I'm getting a side bend. I'm getting a hip stretch. I'm still working my feet. One thing I can say about this totally standing equipment free workout is your feet and your ankles and your calves, legs will really feel this work. So moving at a pace that you can keep your balance. Excellent. I turn to the side so you can see me. I'll turn to this side, this side. Feet together, knees together, soften the knees. Fly the arms, squeeze your back body. We're not lifting the elbows or the shoulders. Reach overhead, pull and rise to squeeze. Good, I do it again, hinge. Reach the arms, squeeze, arms out of that peripheral vision. Reach overhead, neck is long. Pull the elbows back, rise and squeeze. Beautiful, we have time, so do them again. Fly the elbows wide. Reach the arms up, neck is long. Pull the elbows, rise and squeeze. One more time for the day. Hinge and reach. Pull, rise and squeeze. Ah, let's do it again. Reach, rise, pull, and squeeze. Awesome, take a break. We get a break, sip of water if you need it. We're gonna move into this final block of work. And then, I mean, I know it feels like we've been stretching, we'll still stretch. We're gonna do a little breath work at the end just to make it a little more interesting and fun. So like I said, this is all about standing. This one takes a little bit of finesse. So I'm gonna show this to you, we can practice it, and then we'll go full boat. So this is a single leg balance bar leg lift. I'm gonna lift my leg up nice and high using my low belly, step my foot on the floor, drive back into what we'll call a nice little skandasana. So we'll do that as a team here in three, two, and one. Bar leg lift, Woo. This is four, three, two, step your foot down, slide back and reach open, look towards that open arm. I'm using this leg as a brace. Rise my way up, reset, same leg. I'm gonna lift four, three, two, one, set the toes down, take your foot back and open wide. So my heels are down here, come back through center, lift my way up, four, three, two, one, set it down, slide back and open wide. Excellent job team, just a couple more here on side one. Nice and slow burn, two, one, set it down, Step it back and hold it. Three, full expression. Soft bend in that stable leg. 
last one and we switch our sides. So now, balancing on that back leg, lifting, three, two, one. That hold is tough. Step it back and open out. That took me a second, right? Lift up. Four, three, two, one. If they ever make bloopers, I'm gonna make a big splash on that. It's just, it's just the truth. Whenever there's standing balance, the opportunity for a blooper, I think is fairly high. <laughs> Two, one, and last one on the second side. Open hips. I know for me this side probably looks different too because it definitely feels different. Okay, so I'm gonna cross my legs. Doesn't matter which leg is in front. We'll do two and two. Squeeze the arms up, reach up. Really press through the feet, round your spine. We did a little of this in the warm up, but now we're getting into this cross leg, so we're working the a little IT band area. Tuck your chin and exhale. Let your head be absolutely last. Remember, we're doing two per leg. So reach the arms up, legs stay crossed, round your spine, dive your way forward. Hold at the base, three, two, and one. Exhale, roll your way up. Beautiful, we did two, now we do two the other side. Opposite foot crosses in front. Press through the big toe ball mound, both of your feet. And if crossing your legs isn't happening today, have your feet in that first position like we did in the warm up with the heels touching and the toes slightly separated out to the side, maybe 25, 30 degrees. Last one. Round your spine. Ooh. And that is the set once we rise our way up and look our way forward. We're gonna do all of that again. Take a moment, just stand in your power. Breathe. It's a very short interim before we get started. So making our way into our first little faster movement is that skandasana from our bar leg lift. Timer starts in two and one, here we go. It's a little faster this time. Step it back, there we go. <laughs> Reach up, set the foot, slide back, open the chest, rise up. I'm spending less time in each of these movements so I get a little more repetition. And again, I'm focusing on straightening that front leg. It's a big stretch. <sighs> Beautiful. We're switching sides after this last one here. Okay, so finish this one. Set that foot down, lean and reach. Good, turn it around or stay facing this direction if that works for you. Pick your focal point, lift your back leg. And then I step back and I look to the back of the space. Big stretch. So I have a slight angle of my feet. Return and rise. That just felt good. You probably don't want to wait that long, but it is what it is. <laughs> Step back and reach. Oh, that sun feels so good on my face. So good for us, right? Vitamin D. Step it back and open out. So for those of us that have tight hips, we're probably not gonna get as far and that's totally great. So here's a great example. Maybe I just lift my knee up. Still feel that lower belly, still feel that oblique. Take a little step back, drive your hip back, and maybe I don't go as far. Let's do one more so we can practice that little lower range of motion. Should that be you? I don't want you to feel left out. Good. Okie doke. Now from here, step my feet cross. We're gonna do two per side, but they're moving a little quicker. Reach the arms up, pull the belly button in. Round your spine, fold your way forward. Tuck your chin. Till you're at the bottom, take the inhale. Exhale, roll your way up. So I know for me, if I'm, if I'm going faster, it's just harder. Round your spine, tuck your chin. Fold your way forward, feel that moment. Exhale, roll yourself up. Once you're at the top here, switch your feet so you get both sides pretty even. Crossing the ankles, 
hugging the inner thighs, turning on the pelvic floor, yeah? Exhale, pull the belly button up and back, away from your shirt. Hold at the base, exhale, roll your way up. Last one here, big inhale. Exhale, dive forward. Beautiful. And roll your way up. Excellent work today. So just take a moment, feel yourself around in this space. Give yourself a little round of applause in your head. I want one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly. Just take a moment in space. Let your breath be natural. Feel your feet on your mat or on your flooring today. Spread your toes out. I mentioned this in the workout, but I think it'd be really good to do some 360 breath work. So we're staying standing, right? Step your feet together, open your eyes if you haven't yet. Take your hands to your ribs. So feel your ribs with your thumbs at the back and then wrapping your fingers along the front. Drop your shoulders from your ears. Take a deep breath in through the nose, fill up the lungs. Hold at the top and exhale. As you exhale, you're compressing everything through the center. Let's do three. Inhale. Shoulders away from the ears and exhale. Two, inhale. Standing up tall, softening those knees and push. One more time. What I love about the workout today, it all was stretching, but we are gonna do a little more. Good. Turn the toes slightly in. Have the feet wide apart. Take the hands to the hips and fold your way forward. So we did a lot of hamstring work. I would say bend your knees a little bit more. Place your hands on the floor and let your head rest between the palms. So I'm not resting my head on the mat, but I am letting my body fold forward towards the earth. Good, and then I'm gonna start to bend into one knee shift over to that foot. So I'm feeling a little bit more stretch to that glute. Maybe I take a hand and I wrap it around the ankle joint and I'm gonna open twist towards the side. So I'm actually placing my hand on the sacrum back here. Good, return through the center, crawl it all the way over to the other foot. So now I'm balancing on both my feet even and I'm feeling more of a hamstring and glute stretch along this side, the side of my, my right. I'm gonna wrap my left hand around and twist towards that right side of the space. Good. Coming back through center, go ahead and flex through the back. So I'm feeling my back nice and flat, technically extension. And then heel toe, since we've been working so much foot, heel toe your feet in to touch. So you've got your big toes touching, your heels have a slight separation. Take the fingers of the left down to the floor, bend the left knee, and now I open twist towards the right. We weren't on the hands, but it's nice to do a little ring out of the wrist. And then we're gonna place the hand of the right, fingertips of the right, or if I can't reach for the ground, hand on the shin bone, and I open up towards the left. Ring out the wrist of that left side keeping the shoulders down, and returning through the center. Bend both knees pretty liberally here. Tuck your chin and roll your way up to stand. We're gonna stretch the quads this last bit, and then I promise you, the day is yours to have. So catching your foot, right, and tucking your seat. So instead of we're leaning forward and finding that little dancer's pose, we're actually trying to get the thighs parallel, sending both knees, or rather the knee of the suspended leg down. Good, switch your sides. So just so you can see this a little on an angle, my knees are hugging together and I'm gonna tuck my seat underneath me. That'll take it out of the psoas a little bit. You're gonna feel more flex or stretch, hugging those knees towards each other. Steady focal point always helps. All right, last big breath as a team and we'll call it so reach the arms up. Exhale, palms right in front of the heart. Thank you so much for joining me in this slow tempo, totally body weight, totally standing workout of stretch. And my name is Mandy, by the way. Find me on social, find me on Jimra, and have such a wonderful day. Leave a comment what you think about this workout, and I love feedback, so anything is great. Thanks so much for coming. Have a wonderful one. Bye.